State. Okay, folks, Larry Pesavento for TFNN. I thought I'd bring up the stock market, which is basically NVIDIA, folks. You can see it's going crazy to the upside. I wanted to bring out two things on this chart. If you remember last week when we were right here before the earnings came out, we were trading at 950. And I said the only way I would do this was I'd buy a 950 call and I'd sell a 950 put. That means that if it went up, I made money. And if it went down, I made money. But if it this one, what you're going to lose on one of those, but the price you're put, you would have lost, but you would have recovered that in the first five minutes of trading on the next day. This expires in a few days. One of our friends here at TFNN who actually did this trade, God bless him, has made some pretty serious money. About five to one is what he reported on this particular trade, and it's got two more days to go. Now, just looking at this, you can see here two things. You'll notice here, once the market went above the 1.618 expansion of this big move down in here, this is not the correct low. The correct low is right back here. Once it went above there, it was on the way up, and that led to all these little ABCD patterns. Almost untradeable. Look, a three-day sell-off is all you get. There's your last low here. There's your high right there. That takes you up to at least 1,000. Yeah, there's at 1,015, and look where we are now, folks. We're We're far, far into the stratosphere. We've only had one other. We had a really strong move here, though. This thing reacted for five weeks. It came down, and there was your ABCD measured to 1070. And, of course, we gapped up, so you've got to add that. And if you just take this and just add the actual 1.27 on that, and, folks, you can keep adding numbers all you want because this thing can go easy uh, much higher than where it is right now. But that's where it should end up, around 1154. Uh, our show today, uh, Paul, Paula Webb will be, be our guest at the half hour break, but we're going to talk about the bond market when we come back from the break because that's where the real play is, folks. This thing is the bond market is many times bigger than the stock market, and it is in deep trouble, as you probably know if you've been following the trade, what you see, or the 24 7 service because we've been extremely bearish bonds and they look like they're going to go a whole lot lower yet. So let's keep that in mind. So let's check the old clock on the wall here, and we'll be right back after we pay a few bills here for Tom O'Brien and company. We'll be right back. <laughs> 